Hello. This video is on conditional probability. Here's the syllabus showing you what we have to cover. And if you look at the guidance, you can see that conditional probability problems can be solved with the aid of Venn diagrams or tree diagrams, sample space diagrams or tables of outcomes. And if you look at some of my earlier videos, you'll see that there are questions that cover conditional probability in all of those videos. You should be familiar with these two formula shown on page 9 of your formula booklet. And today, as I said, we're going to concentrate on the conditional probability formula, also shown in the formula booklet. If the probability of event A happening is altered by the occurrence of a previous event B, then the probability of event A is said to be conditional. And it's written as shown here. And this notation means the probability of event A happening given that event B has already happened. In this question, a card has been taken from a standard pack of 52 cards, and we're told that that card was a heart. And we're asked to calculate the probability that the second card drawn will also be a heart. So on a tree diagram, it would simply be the second section of the diagram, which obviously was dependent on the outcome of the first section. So if the first card drawn was a heart, then that would now leave 12 hearts left out of 51 cards, as shown in the tree diagram. And therefore the probability that the second card will also be a heart, given that the first card drawn was a heart, is simply 12 out of 51, which is equal to 4 seventieths. In this question, a student is randomly selected from the group of students and we're asked to find the probability that the student selected studies Spanish, given that we know they study French. So given that the student studies French, means that we can ignore anything outside of the French set. We're told the probability of a student studying both French and Spanish is 0 0.1, and that's the intersection, the center of the diagram. And if we subtract the 0 0.1 from the 0 0.5, we'll get the probability that the student only studies French. And that's, of course, equal to 0 0.4. So the probability of the student studying Spanish is 0 0.1 out of a total of 0 0.5 that study French. So the probability of a student studying Spanish, given that they study French, is 0 0.1 out of 0 0.5, and that's equal to 0 0.2. In general, if we look at the tree diagram shown here, the top branch is the probability that event B happens, followed by the probability that A happens given that B has happened. That's the second branch here. And the outcome, of course, is the probability that B and A happen. Or turning it around, the probability that A and B occur. So we have this formula shown at the bottom here. The probability that A and B occur is equal to the probability that B occurs multiplied by the probability that A occurs given that B already occurred. Now this equation can be rearranged by dividing both sides by the probability of B to give us the conditional probability formula as shown in blue. So to find the probability that A occurs, given that B has already occurred, we divide the intersection, the probability of A and B occurring, we divide that by the probability of B occurring. In this question, we're asked to draw a Venn diagram to describe 
illustrate the situation. So if we let event C represent residents who own a cat and event D represent residents who own a dog. We don't know what percentage of residents own both. In other words, we don't know what the intersection is of the two sets. So we'll represent that with X. Then the proportion that only own a cat would be 0 0.25 minus X. And the proportion that only own a dog, 0 0.55 minus X. And the Venn diagram would look like this. Not, the, not forgetting the 30% that own, own, own either. So that's 0 0.3. So now we do write an equation by adding all four sections on the Venn diagram. And having written our equation, we now need to solve it. Again, we can solve the equation algebraically, in which case you'll get x equals 0 0.1, or you can solve the equation on your calculator. So I'll just do that with you here. So if you go to menu equation, F3, solve an equation, and type in the equation, 0 0.25 is the x plus x plus 0 0.55 equal x plus 0 0.3 plus 2 equal 1. We press F6 to solve the equation. And again, we get x equals 0 0.1. So our completed Venn diagram looks like this. Now, we're asked to calculate the probability that a randomly selected resident owns a cat given that they own a dog. And since the resident selected owns a dog, the sample space reduces down from the 100% to 55%, so it was down to 0 0.55. So the probability that the selected resident owns a cat, given that they own a dog, is equal to the intersection of cats and dogs, in other words, probability the resident owns both cat and dog, out of dogs. And as seen in the diagram, that's equal to 0 0.1 out of 0 0.55. And that's equal to 0 0.182. Now we're asked to calculate the probability that a randomly selected resident doesn't own a dog, given that they do own a cat. And since the resident selected owns a cat, the sample space again is reduced from the 100% down to the 25%, or the 0 0.25, as shown in the diagram. So the probability that the resident selected doesn't own a dog, given that they do own a cat, is equal to the intersection of cats and not a dog, which is the 0 0.15, out of cats, which is the 0 0.25. And that's equal to 0 0.6. In this last question, event D is the probability that the flight departs on time. Event A is the probability that the flight arrives on time. And we're asked to calculate the probability that a flight arrives on time, given that it departed on time. So the required probability is A given D, which is equal to the intersection of A and D out of D. And you can see that the probability that it arrives and departs on time is 0.78, and the probability that it departs on time is 0.83. And that's equal to 0 0.94. 
and in part B, we are asked to calculate the probability that the flight departs on time given that it arrived on time. And that's equal to the probability of D given A, which is equal to the intersection of D and A over the probability of the given, which is A. And the probability of D given A or A given D is again 0 0.78 and the probability of arriving on time is 0 0.92. And the result is equal to 0 